our first video in part two of the chapter on quadratics. So in front of you, you'll see an equation of a quadratic. This form is called standard form. And standard form, we like to label the coefficients as follows. ax squared plus bx plus c. So see in this uh, example one right here, our a would be 1, b would be negative 4, and c would be negative 5. When we graph standard form, the first thing we want to consider is, is this factorable? Is this factorable? You tell me, can you factor x squared minus 4x minus 5? I believe we can. I think that factors into x minus 5 and x plus 1. If you need help with factoring, you need to go back and watch the factoring video in part 1. Now that it's factored, we can see that there is an x-intercept at 5 comma 0 and another x-intercept at negative 1 comma 0. I'm going to put those on the graph right now. For our first x-intercept, here's the 5 comma 0, and here's the negative 1 0. Remember that that axis of symmetry is right in the middle of those two. I believe that's at x equals 2. To find where the vertex is, I'm going to substitute 2 in for x. And I'm going to use the original equation. So to find my vertex, Sorry, to find my y value of the vertex, I substitute 2 in for x, and I'll, I will simplify. So I get y to be negative 9. So our vertex is at 2 comma negative 9. And I have three points. I can make my problem now. I am going to point out one other thing that I'd like us to remember, and that's standard forms only kind of give me. And that's that c value right there. See how I circled the negative 5? It turns out that that c value is going to be our y-intercept. So take a look at your graph. Does it look like the graph goes through the point 0, negative 5? It does. Excellent. So we actually can use that to find other points as well to make the graph even more perfect. That was an example of standard form where it was factorable. Let's look at example two. Example two actually is not factorable. Well, if you can't factor it, you can't find the x-intercepts easily. We do know that the y-intercept at negative two, we just learned that, but I'm actually going to give you a nice trick to find the axis of symmetry. And it's a little formula. So the axis of symmetry will always be that vertical line, so x equals negative b over 2a. So remember I talked about these coefficients. Here's our b. Our b would be 4. Oh, there's really a 1 in front there. Our a would be 1. If I substitute those values into this formula, let's say x equals negative, and then the 4 goes in for the b, so really I wrote negative 4, 2 times a was 1, so I'll write 1 there, and I simplify this, I get x equals negative 2. That means my dotted line, my axis of symmetry, is that x equals negative 2. Notice I already have a point on the right side of the axis of symmetry. Doesn't that mean I have a little reflection on the left side from that point? Right there, that point would be negative 4, negative 2. Now all I need is that vertex. Same way we've been finding the vertex all along. If we know the axis of symmetry, we'll plug in that value and find the y value of the vertex. So I'm going to substitute negative 2 in for x. Notice that when I substituted it right there, I put it in parentheses. 
I want that negative 2, that entire thing to get squared, the negative and the 2. Let's just simplify this so I get 4 minus 8 minus 2, which is really negative 6. So my vertex is at negative 2, negative 6. Perfect. I have three points. And I can draw my parabola. Let's try one more example together. Again, we want to see if something is factorable before we ever try graphing in standard form. Uh, this one, I don't think we're going to have an easy time factoring this, or if it's even possible. So let's go to my new formula. x equals negative b over 2a. That will help us find that dotted line, the axis of symmetry. What's the b value here? Remember that a is the letter, or I should say the coefficient, with the x squared, so that would be 2. b is the coefficient of x. Well, there's nothing here with an x, so I'm going to say that b is 0. And then c, c is the constant, just the number, that would be 5. So we have 0 plugged in for b, and now I'm going to plug 2 in for a. I get negative 0 divided by 4, which is 0. So we have the axis of symmetry at 0. Let's find the vertex. If I plug in 0 for x, let's see, I get 2 times 0, that's 0, plus 5, and 0 plus 5 is 5. So my vertex is at 0, comma 5. And now I need to find two other points. I'm going to use my a value on this one. So notice my a value is 2. So from my vertex, I can go up 2 over 1 in each direction. But I can't keep doing that. I still see people in class doing this. I'm going to do it. Look. Well, let's just keep going up 2 over 1. No, look, that's a V-shaped. We don't want a V-shaped. We know that this should be U-shaped. We're just going to do it one time. And now I have enough to make my parabola. And now it's time for you to try some on your own. Good luck.